What's up, y'all? Welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter, and it's mail call day. Today, we are unboxing the Roto Q360. This is the Pitmaster edition. Can't wait to crack this thing open and see what it's all about. Let's go. All right, y'all. So, the Roto Q360 is a self powered rotisserie. Uh, you crank this thing by hand, and it will spin the rotisserie for an hour on a full crank. And it's got some other uh, really cool features, but this is the Pitmaster edition. So this actually has a little grill that's uh, attached with it. So I'm really excited about that. But you can use this thing in your oven, on a grill, or just about any place where you've got heat and it's going to be stable. This thing will work. And again, it doesn't require any electricity, no batteries, anything like that. So let's pop this box and get it going. Okay, so there's several boxes in here already, I can see. And they say, always think 360. I think that's pretty cool. So I don't think this is the main box. We're going to set this to the side for now. Yeah, what else have we got here? Oh, this is cool. So this is a little travel bag that they give you. So you can... This thing can go on the go with you. And again, always think 360. So it looks like the whole unit will pack up and go into that bag. So you can take it with you if you're tailgating, camping, in your RV, whatever you're doing, it can go with you. And then this bag, uh, I'm assuming we'll see what goes into that. All right, this is the main box. Let's see what we're working with here. No, this is an apron. So that was labeled wrong, but yeah. Got a nice uh, Roto Q360 apron. I'll definitely be putting that to use. Can never get enough aprons, at least not for me. Thank you all for that. I do appreciate it. And we got some literature. Um, Coupons for your next purchase. And of course, the user's guide, instructions, all that good stuff. This is a little, uh, looks like a little silicone mat, like you would use for baking or lying in a sheet. Um, I'm guessing this will go on the little tray that's uh, included with the. Uh, the barbecue but i could be wrong there's the tray so that's too big so we'll figure out what that's for okay and this is the main fork for the rotisserie there's no electricity only energy is the energy you input and this is a cap i've also seen that you use to uh, turn the crank so again it's my first time dealing with it so we'll get all this figured out and I do know from looking at it, this is the main spring. So this is going to be the main part that will power the rotisserie. So you're going to crank this, and this is what turns everything. And it's heavy, y'all. So when they say that you can spin your rotisserie for an hour, uh, I already believe it because this is heavy. And you can tell there's a big old heavy spring in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty hefty. And this is so basically the, the, the frame of it. And this thing is collapsible. Uh, you collapse this thing, take it with you. And uh, this is where your, your spit is going to go in between here. This is what holds everything together. And that's where that, uh, that tray goes there in the bottom, I'm assuming. Nice. Yeah, that, that folds down. That's like short of these little brackets man that, that's flat fold so this thing will be convenient to uh have on the go and take with you wherever you want to go i gotta say there's a lot of stuff packed in these this is a pretty small box all things considered i've pulled a lot of stuff out of here and y'all uh, i'm only halfway down Okay, there's still a bunch of stuff in here, so uh, they designed this uh, with a lot of thought because uh, this thing is going to be pretty portable the way everything collapses down. 
Okay, there's the oven mitts. Oh, these are nice, man. Wait a minute. Check it out. These have the, uh, the silicone grip. That's cool, because uh, you, you need that texture, and it also it, it helps with a little bit of heat protection, as opposed to just that, uh, that cotton weave. So, yeah, those are cool. So when you're carrying that uh, hot-ass <laughs> chicken or whatever you got on that rotisserie, uh, it won't be slipping out of your hands, and it won't be burning the shit out of your hands. So, yeah. So this is uh, a rotisserie basket, and there's also... Uh, skewers in there and then there is also another rotary basket in here so this will be great for like uh, vegetables chicken wings things like that um yeah i'm looking forward to this this, this is going to be nice cool and this appears to be the last piece in here this appears to be the main spit if you're going to uh, be using something other than the attachments. And again, speculation on my part, I haven't read any of the instructions yet. Just uh, my experience with rotisseries in the past. So um, let's get this thing put together. I'm going to actually look at the instructions. Don't kill me, Dad. Carpenter men don't read instructions for those of y'all that don't know. Uh, <laughs> so let's get this thing put together and take a look at it. All right, y'all, let's take a look at the basic setup of this thing. So this is what it looks like when it's folded flat. Uh, again, this is just the frame part of it, but uh, this is really cool, man. So you, you pull these little wings up, and there's these little arms in here. And you put these in place. There's little cutouts there. So you put those in place, and that is what supports it and stops it from coming down and those are really really secure um and this little thing is kind of ingenious I, I, i'm kind of impressed man i gotta be honest with you so you got those all locked into place then you have your power unit so again this is the big old spring that you turn uh, and if you notice on this end you have these three holes and those match up with the three little uh, hooks, I guess they are, on the power unit. So you can't go wrong with how this thing goes. You just line them up. And they're in place. And you got your drip tray that goes in there. So that will hold any drippings of anything or... Um, me personally, if I was doing a chicken, I would put like some potatoes and vegetables in there and let the chicken uh, roast on top of those like that. Um, I'm fancy that way. And then you got your, your spit or whichever accessory you decide to use. And this is a spacer right here. So you can adjust this to hold on to whatever you're cooking so that it stays in place and stays secure. So that's pretty cool. Then you, um, there's a switch here, right there. That is your, basically your on and off switch. So you pull it out to make it turn, push it in to make it stop. So uh, we're gonna, wind this thing up and we're going to pull it and it's turning and to stop it you just push it in i think this thing is really cool y'all so I'm not going to get into the grill portion of it. I'm going to get into that when I actually use that thing, which will probably be uh, the next video. So uh, y'all check this out, man. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this. Uh, I'm going to end up being an affiliate for RotoQ. And um, yeah, if you want to purchase one of these, you can definitely click the link and I will get a little bit of, little bit of taste of the action. 
Um, but yeah, I'm digging this thing. Well, y'all, that's going to do it for this one. I'm really looking forward to using this Roto Q360, uh, especially the grill part, because, you know, I'm all about grilling and uh, cooking outside, especially in this Texas heat. But uh, do me a favor, man. Hit all those buttons, subscribe, like, notifications, all that good stuff, man. It really helps me out. And leave a comment. I, I really want to know what y'all want to see me uh, cook on this thing for the very first time. I think it's going to be really interesting. And again, I am really looking forward to it. And if you want one of your own, click the link. There'll be a link in the description. You can certainly get one and try it out yourself. So I can always tell y'all, man, stop being scared. Get out there and cook something, man. And I will catch y'all on the next one.